limiting the conditions uh, for the virus to spread and particularly to limit the conditions for the virus to mutate. Well, the Department of Higher Learning and Training has urged institutions, students and staff to continue following the COVID-19 safety protocols. There's growing concern of a possible cluster outbreak at institutions of higher learning. This comes after more than 100 students from the University of Pretoria have tested positive for the virus since the 19th of March. Now, many students are expected to return back to campus soon. ENCA's Sekohacho Moahi has more. About 116 young people have become positive in just the last uh, few days since we have scaled up our testing and contact tracing and screening program. With students expected to return to various campuses soon, there are concerns over possible COVID-19 outbreaks. When you have clustered outbreaks among young people, it rapidly spreads very quickly. You must remember in higher education, we have congregate settings. So the few young people become positive, they come back to their residences where they stay, um, they dine together, they live together. So congregation is there. So the virus rapidly spreads from one individual to the other. The South African Students' Congress says these concerns aren't new and they raised them in a detailed report to the Higher Learning and Training Department. We had anticipated that um, something like this would happen because we knew that COVID-19 is just not going to go away. But at the same time, students still need to be on campus, Still, students still need to learn so that no one is left behind. Meanwhile, the Tswana University of Technology says it's ready should there be an outbreak. So far, we are not worried. We want to welcome all those who are coming particularly our first-year students who are coming on the trail. We want to tell them, you will be safe when you come back here because not everybody will be coming back. When the first years are on campus, the senior students will be hooked in online to continue learning. Higher Health says should there be more outbreaks, it will immediately develop a cluster investigation forum. The National Health Laboratory System assists us with quick turnover time of the lab results, with the help of local DOH, we do a massive screening and contact tracing and testing program, a test early, isolate people early, quarantine people who are positive, break the chain of the outbreaks so that the virus doesn't spread. In a statement, the University of Pretoria says it's taken